Hey, this is Samara, signing on with some more of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I am very tired and I just put myself in the middle of one of the biggest missions in the game. Okay, so we talked to the crew, we landed on wherever the hell we are, as we're attacking one of Saren's bases, where he might have a cure for the Genophage, and he's preparing for... Sorry, basically his big testing lab for all his experiments. From indoctrination to... Genophage Cure and Krogan Army. So, with our team split up, we sent out Elenko to... I feel like this is the main path. Oh, you know what? I think what will happen here... May... Be... Wait... Okay, hold on. I think that might be the main... I'm trying to figure out how to get the most out of this just in case something comes up. But anyway, so we sent, um, Kaiden, Kaiden, um, with the, um, Solarian, um, military to try and, you know, buy time so we can sneak in and d basically deploy a bl bomb in the middle of the plant. Yeah, that sums it up. What do you want? I told you everything. I, who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. They tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it up. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. I have a Tomeno Savada of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I've said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments. I don't know what for. The effect of excessive things spring on my short temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Commander. Eh. We don't let him out. Let everyone else out. We have to do something. Yes, leaving here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small in the noise. Just not go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? Damn simple! <sighs> no big deal, I tried. Okay, there was nothing. Oh, there is something here. Maybe. Whatever this is. Uh, just keeping an eye out for any new stuff. Aid station, didn't really need it, but it works. I guess it just won't open. I feel like maybe we had to go around with something for this. Well, I tried. Go back to where we were. Which is Ashley. So in case there's an item somewhere, something dropped. Seemingly no. Okay. Sorry, getting back on track. Trying to get through this mission quickly here. Because it's late. I'm very tired. I should have just went to bed, but instead I had to make myself stay busy. <laughs> Uh, this way. Oop. Ah, oh, that was almost perfect. I think. Ah, oh, that's right. I swapped out the grenade type, and then I died. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Granathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying on, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. 
Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. How to do that when you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind you goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's Who knows that's what you're doing now? Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave. Like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone but Sylvie. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Just go. I'm blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Oh. This is the best I can do for you. Yes, I'm being lenient, but you know, some people are just really caught in this crossfire, this whole mess. Complicity, maybe, but also if they can turn over a new leaf, let them go for it. Another sneeze. Ugh. Oh, hey guys, we got somewhat matching armor. Everyone's got camo of some kind. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. And just like that, the music dies. I'm just seeing what my phone was digging. Is that it? Okay. Oh, we got more stuff here. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. Welcome to the ride. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Should have brought Liara along for this. Creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own. <sighs> Sorry. You cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Dun dun dun! A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply... <laughs> The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been more it's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. 
Cycle? What, what cycle? I'm just letting this play out. Has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the path as we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! They're here to wipe us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Try me. Where did you come from? Who built you? Just letting it play out. Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. We did not get any answers. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. All right. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. <laughs> it's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This thing is frying. Orders, Commander? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the new right yeah it's so yes it is very much a yeah the thing about the reapers and this is what we're starting to understand is that apparently they've been just came into existence at least from what i remember right now they're just machines that just became the ultimate sentience and you know it's an old hat now especially in video games but the idea of you know machines that have you know just thought them machines that have um oh God, sorry, I'm, I'm so tired. Sorry, I am so tired. But um where was I? It's okay, new path. Oh Jesus. Yeah, it's just like, you know, the idea of machines, again, old sci-fi trope, and you know, saw it more often as time went on after this came out. But machines that feel they're superior to any organic being, so the only logical con conclusion is to wipe them out. You know, a good example is um, Kalons from The Orville, Seth MacFarlane's um, Star Trek, you know, Star Trek equivalent show. It's really good. Um, but, yeah, it's just like this, you know, the machine hive, well not, yeah, machine hive mind, I don't think they technically are, but I digress, semantics, as they're just like, they propagate their own cycles of destroying all organic life after so long. So with the Protheans, they were only the most recent um, appearance of the Reapers, from what we can understand. That was a long time ago. But you know, last time the Reapers showed up, supposedly it's when the Protheans were reaching their zenith. And it happened long before them, and long before the whatever came before the Protheans. So, yeah, just like this cycle of just like, you know, um, several millennia of just like prosperity or prosperity and intelligence and knowledge and building and for the 
um, Reapers to show up and completely annihilate it. And then, there we go, it starts anew. The cycle starts anew. So, a new race, or new races eventually form our... Oh, come on, really all the way back here. New races eventually form or come into life and they find what's left of whatever was left behind and they build on top of that. So, you know, the Asari found the Citadel, which seemed to be a product of Protheans, but maybe something even before them um, started building it and even before, yeah. So, yeah, just like this cycle of just like, you know, a very compelling cycle. Like, how I really like that story, um, you know, the story like, I guess you could say, what do you want to call it? Just like the conceit of that story, because... You know, especially it works well in, well, even not even just sci-fi, but it's like a good, cool thing that, I don't know how to explain myself because I am so tired. This was a bad idea to keep recording tonight, even though I got a lot done and I was feeling productive. I think we got them. Uh, just like this idea of like a cycle that carries on, like you kind of have that in, um, you know, it's going to be nerdy, but like in Naruto, when you get near to the end of the series and you will learn, you know, um several generations have passed as you have like you know not to get into too much detail because this could i could go all night but um you know multiple details like at once there were two brothers who were competing and now they pass their souls on to the next generations that then have to compete for the fate of their worlds it you know the most recent examples we had were um hashirama and madara and then naruto and sasuke you know Naruto spoilers, don't mind me. Jesus. But you know, that's like, you know, and that's still like this similar idea where eventually just like, you know, it's like a very extreme version of like generational, you know, passing of the torch. And maybe that's why I find it compelling because, you know, I like that story of, you know, for the next generation to take over what they can learn from the past and what they can do differently and what, you know, a new generation can discover. I find that very compelling. You know, I'm only in my early 20s and I kind of like like how change can be done. Um, and so this is just kind of like a more extreme, kind of like far-reaching version of that idea, I guess you can say, is just like the generational gap is instead of like maybe a hundred years, it's just like thousands. So everything is just so much of a grander scale and but by virtue, more gets destroyed and more is left behind. And that just kind of like makes the idea of like the Reapers kind of scarier because they destroy so much more with such ease. So, you know, whoop. those bombs don't work. Almost done. But yeah, it's just the scale of just like, you know, entire galaxies can be wiped clean of all life by the Reapers. And, you know, the things they left behind caused interstellar, interstellar travel and, you know, giant cosmopolitan cities. And that all just goes away and is left abandoned until something eventually comes around, makes it better, and it's still not enough to stop the Reapers. That's it. We need to clear the gun and set those charges. See you up there. Damn, this thing jumping around. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm sure, trying to keep the Reaper discussion succinct. I'm sure there's way more, and we'll get into it when we get into it. It's just there's a lot. This feels like a familiar boss arena. Uh, are we waiting for him, or? There he is. Okay, what do we got? That looks familiar. Bomb is 
in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Yeah, I think we're gonna get turned around pretty rapidly here. Yeah, this is where we... Okay. Um, Liara Garrus, you're my mates. So... We came from there, so I think it's this way. Jeez, he's Krogan. You're trapped with us, boy. Jesus, the Krogan are monsters. <laughs> okay, got him. Okay. And I remember this spot specifically. Okay. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Chief, we just found a patrol ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding gas all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? Williams making sure this bomb goes off no matter what it's done commander go get the lieutenant and get the hell out of here belay that we can handle ourselves go back and get Williams yeah and I remember just like this scene I remember this vividly just like this I you know Shepard just kind of like going over like this balcony edge and just like thinking as this choice yep who do you want to save Caden is fighting for his life as he's being swarmed by Geth Ashley's got a bomb going, but we got to make sure that goes off. I couldn't remember how this would go. And the thing is, I've grown a better appreciation for Kaden or um, Kaiden over this. Like, I know he, you know, he, when you're first playing Mass Effect and you're teamed up with all these aliens, just sort of like, oh, everyone's so interesting here. And it's like, Kaden and Ashley kind of get overlooked, and Ashley has her problems. But Kaden turned out to be, like, really interesting, really compelling, and I think I'm still gonna go with Ashley. And I feel scummy, but that's just how it goes, because Kaden made his choice, he's the one who volunteered, and Ashley, well, I want to see her get better. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Kaden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. How is that a Paragon option? Uh, or is it just like in general? It's also just like the bomb is important. Even if it goes off, you know, who else is going to get caught up in it? Well, everything, but we got to make sure it goes off. And also, that's where Sovereign went, so that's a big deal. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's like the big major decision, and yeah. I think I've already given away, but we're not going to be seeing one of these guys after a while. <laughs> Get into cover, you stupid... Prime. Uh, that thing's pretty dangerous.
Oh, uh, uh. That's not at all. That's fine. Whoops. Didn't mean to skip his thing. Whatever just happened. Uh. Do we move up or what do we do? Should have been another. Okay, there we go. It didn't trigger for some reason because I accidentally talked to Liara at the wrong moment. I can do bionic stuff too! For a Reaper. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had? Mission not preferable to extinction. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Supposedly, in theory. This, I joined Sovereign. Aware of the dangers. I had hoped this facility would protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. Irony. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own, for now, but the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. That's what he, that's already what happened. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me more about your dastardly plans. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. He is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions that gather her at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we must work with the Reapers. But the Geth are already machines, so they're already malleable to um, the Reapers' plan. The Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. Charm at max. I no longer believe that, Shepard. Visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. 
If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It's inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm no matter how many of us, of your fellow us, we have to throw under the bus. Organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would do my work. You would do our entire civilization. Uh, can I overload him? That didn't work. Are we just out of range or... Is he stuck? No, he's not stuck in stasis. Ooh, damn. You're still organic, so the st shock suits indeed work. Did that neural shock just like knock him off his board or something? I'd say, yeah, the bomb would have been stopped for sure. Well, it wouldn't have. All right, everybody, hang on. Woo! All right, so confrontation for Saren, yeah. I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Just waiting for complete Vimir. Alenko knew the risk going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Ash. How far are you going to drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. Well, well. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose a good soldier over it. We already lost one. We don't need to uh, ruminate on what it would be like to lose a different one. Excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Let's go. You want to join our minds again, don't you? I can't imagine. What is even the option if you say no? Is she just going to do it anyways? It's kind of important for this whole story to go. Sorry, I cannot fathom somebody who would actually want to go with, like, all the negative options. <laughs>
never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. <sighs> okay. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Yep. The there were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos. The conduit is on Ilos. We've got a lead. That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? Don't be so aggressive. The links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Yeah, that's we fair. What the hell, Shepard? The images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus system. <laughs> Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. We have no choice. Ilos, Ilos, that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Uh... Calm down, a lot going on. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Yeah, yeah if we... Dismissed. Same way. There's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Yeah. Keep them in, keep them informed. I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. It's accurate! Yeah, you don't believe me? Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision. Oh, shut up. Your name is Spartus. You self-centered. Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Yeah, and you're being unreasonable. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. This whole the mission! We cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. <sighs> if you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. <laughs> I certainly don't have your backs, your backing on this. Okay. So, yeah, saying goodbye to Caden as we try to figure out our next step. Now, it would be a good idea to check in with everybody, but I'm exhausted, so we're going to wrap up here. So, next time we continue, we will carry on. I think we're Race Against Time Sovereign. So, I'm not sure if once we do this, if it locks us out of some stuff. i got to look up, see what missions actually will matter when we get to the end game but we'll figure that out as we go <coughs> so yeah we're gonna wrap up here for right now next time we continue we will carry on check in with the crew and figure out our next step so until next time thank you for watching hope you enjoyed like and subscribe and all that this is tamara signing off